To help prevent heat-related injuries during the summer months, the following safety tips should be followed. First, stay hydrated and drink plenty of fluids. It is recommended that you drink 16 ounces of water before starting work and then drink six ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes when working outside in the heat. Stores can set up drinking stations for sackers and employees who are working outside. Pace yourself. Slow down and work at an even pace. Know your own limits and abilities to work safely in the heat. Take a break. Take time for rest periods and water breaks in a shaded or air-conditioned area. Discuss rest periods with your store director. Use a cool, damp rag. Wipe your face with it or put it around your neck. Avoid getting sunburned. Use sunscreen and wear a hat when working outside. Be alert to the signs of heat-related illness. Know what to look for and make sure to check on other coworkers that might be at high risk. When possible, avoid direct sunlight. Find shade or block out the sun whenever you are able to. While you've probably heard of heat-related injuries, you might not have heard of cold-related injuries. Cold-related injuries is a risk facing all employees that work in a cold environment. Cold-related injuries can occur when the skin temperature and eventually the internal body temperature is lowered. This can lead to serious health problems like tissue damage and even death. Risk factors that contribute to cold-related injuries are wetness or dampness, dressing inappropriately, exhaustion, predisposition health conditions like hypertension, hypothyroidism, and diabetes, poor physical conditioning. Cold-related injuries usually show up in a few different ways. The most common cold-related injury and illness are hypothermia and frostbite. These cold-related injuries can occur if you are working outdoors in cold environments for an extended period of time. In regions that are not used to winter weather, near-freezing temperatures are considered extreme cold. Just like extreme heat forces the body to work harder to maintain safe temperature, extreme cold does the same. When the temperature drops below normal and wind speeds increase, heat can leave the body more rapidly. Employees should use good safe working practices to help prevent cold-related injuries. Employees should stay hydrated and drink plenty of warm fluids. Employees should dress appropriate for extreme cold weather conditions. The type of fabric worn makes a difference. Cotton loses its insulation value when it becomes wet. Wool, silk, and most synthetics, on the other hand, retain their insulation even when wet. Wear at least three layers of loose-fitting clothing. Layering provides better insulation. Do not wear tight-fitting clothing. Wear a hat or hood to help keep your whole body warmer. Hats reduce the amount of body heat that escapes from your head. Use insulated gloves to protect the hands. Wear insulated and waterproof boots. Use a knit mask to cover your face and mouth. Try to stay dry in the cold because moisture and dampness, for example sweating, can increase the rate of heat loss from the body. Be alert to the signs of cold-related illness. Know what to look for, and always make sure to check on coworkers that might be at high risk. Pace yourself. Slow down and work at an even pace. Know your own limits and abilities to work safely. Take a break. Take time for rest periods and breaks to get a drink in the heated or warmed area. The following recommendations are for icy conditions on roads and front entrance sidewalks slash parking lots. Monitor your front entrance for snow and ice. Inform your store director if you observe dangerous conditions forming. Put out your caution cones in heavy trafficked areas, such as front entrance, sidewalks, ramps, etc. Place floor mats inside the entrance doors so customers can wipe ice and moisture off their shoes before entering the sales floor. With approval and instruction from your store director, attempt to clear walking surfaces to the degree possible. With approval and instructions from your store director, spread de-icer or salt on icy surfaces as quickly as possible after a winter storm. Use your best judgment and discuss with your store director about safely traveling to or from work. Check with city officials or government agencies such as TxDOT in your area for road conditions.